Well, hello and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Last time we were continuing Chapter 4, Act 4 of the Archon Quest, and a lot has happened. Essentially what happened, essentially what happened was that... What the heck was that sound in my... It's the AC. Okay, that's... Okay, the AC might be broken in my place because that sound was not normal anyways. Um... What happened? I forgot. Oh shoot, I need to spend my resin. Hold up, let's spend resin while I summarize what happened, I suppose. So, um, what happened was that, yeah, we saw, we, there was a little bit of respite, and then it happened, the seal started to be broken, and the seal was broken, and then uh, Worcestershire and Cloran were able to kind of prevent it from uh, seeping out too much. Very cool, because Worcestershire is a... Uh, is cryo and so he was able to like stop it for a little bit but in the end it, they needed Nivellet to come down so Nivellet did come down and Nivellet was able to put a seal on it temporarily using his awesome powers but to talk more about that you know we had to also talk about what else that was happening and finally um Alekino was able to meet Freena again a second time but this time when they were talking uh yeah, definitely you can see that uh, I like Kino was putting a lot of pressure onto um, onto Farina, which was uh, kind of because I feel our uh, or at the time when we we're talking Farina, not Farina. Uh, I like Kino didn't seem to have a lot of um, basically a lot of trust or a lot of hope in Farina. Uh, not a lot of hope in Farina. But Farina was kind of saying that like she has everything, she's doing everything that she can and um, you know, even though we cannot see it as as the mortals of this world, we cannot see what's going on. Um, Farina is like, yeah, she, she's got it, she's, she's working, she's got it under control essentially. Um, and that's basically it from that. After us leaving the Traveler Paimon and we actually left with Alekino and she kind of revealed Perhaps revealed a bit too much to us things that were going on or her, her opinions on Farina and Nivellet saying that she, <laughs> that she she assaulted she assaulted um I like you know assaulted Farina on the street and that's kind of when she found out that Farina doesn't seem to be having the hydronosis which again is super important because Basically, one of her main goal, um, in terms of being a Fatui is, Alekino you know, is trying to search for the uh, Gnosis to give back to uh, the Saritsa. And she figured that out, and she's like, yeah, I don't think that, I don't think, or she, or I feel like, Alekino you know, doesn't think that, Farina is a Hydro Archon, and so, okay, she might, and then now, Alekino you know, is thinking that maybe Nivellet's the Hydro Archon. But then she's like, well, I don't think that's really the case either. And so she is more, just, it seems to me that she really cares about the prophecy, that she thinks that it's actually a very uh, big threat that's looming around that should be dealt with. Um, and she's kind of against the slow acting of Farina and Nivellet essentially but she's also a bit confused if i don't think she knows where the noses is because if she knows where the noses is, she would have like striked at it and also i don't think she knows where the uh, who the hydro archon is really um and that's basically it and also at the end very end we talked to nivella and nivella revealed to us that since he can control rain or we had a feeling that he can control rain and so he was like okay yes i am the dragon I am one of the dragon doodads. And honestly, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not too privy on the lore of the dragons. <laughs> I know that... I know that for, like, the Valen, the Valen was Venti's dragon companion. And I think Aishdaha... It's weird, because I played Aishdaha's uh, story quest. I should say Zhongli's uh, chapter 2 story quest. I played that twice. I didn't really, and both times I never really got the sense that Aishaha was like an important dragon. But apparently he is maybe, I don't know. And then uh, Nivella is a dragon, which means that um he possesses a lot of powers. But it seems that a lot of his powers 
like what he said was a lot of the dragon's powers people or the dragons nowadays if they do exist um they don't have a lot of power and actually that power is, is has been granted essentially to the archon um indeed and yeah i never gave my thought about what was going on i had some thoughts before nivellet revealed that he was the dragon of sovereign whatever whatever and so um yeah that's kind of uh i guess i can s still share my thoughts but like um yeah i guess before that i still had a uh, dragon look it, it dragon thingy okay so anyways when um yeah when nivellet saved the thingy i i do think that nivellet is not the hydro archon i mean he obviously isn't the hydro archon he's the dragon thingy so he can't be a hydro archon it's just there's no way right but i feel like um a lot of the power I, okay also i guess in my thesis statement i also need to talk about farina i actually do believe that farina is a hydro archon i still i'm still think, sticking with that even though it doesn't seem like it kind of seems like the story wants us to stray away from the idea and especially since um i like you know seems to not think that farina is a hydro archon um, I kind of do still think she's a Hydra Archon. I just think that she is the Hydra Archon, but she's passing down a lot of responsibilities and stuff. And power, I should say. A lot of responsibility and power down to Nivellet. Because she knows that Nivellet is super strong. And, um, you know, as showcased last video, Nivellet was able to stop the spill. Frina says, or Elegino says that Frina doesn't have a plan to kind of prevent this prophecy from happening. But I think that Farina actually does have a plan and that she has been actively trying to stop this prophecy from happening and that comes into form of she's basically investing all her resources like she's a gacha player he's just hard building never let and just not investing in any other characters you know what i'm saying like i feel like she is a hydro archon but she knows that she doesn't have that much power and like that much um intelligence and ability to be able to solve this prophecy and so I think she really is like keen on getting the help of Nivellet to help her out in this situation. Whether or not they have the Gnosis, to be honest with you, I don't even know what the Gnosis does. I don't even know if the Gnosis actually grants you power or not. Apparently it should grant you something because we saw that Skarmouche having the Electron Gnosis was able to like send lightning bolts everywhere. So obviously there's power. Um, but that being said though, it's literally all the Archons that we've seen previously, they don't need their gnosis for power and so i think that it might there might be a chance that uh i think it's a pretty good idea that maybe farina or farina for sure doesn't have the uh the gnosis and perhaps nivellet has the gnosis and he's using that power to be able to do stuff i think that's a good idea but that being said though like that's what i kind of am thinking about that maybe nivellet has the gnosis similar to how yay had the gnosis yay yay was holding on to wearing shogun's gnosis for safekeeping and so it could be kind of similar that uh farina gave nivellet the gnosis however does nivellet need to use the gnosis in order to you know uh do things maybe not like my guess kind of at this point is that farina gave the, the um gave the gnosis to nivellet but that doesn't mean that Nivellet has the Gnosis on him. Nivellet may have put it somewhere else. Uh, what, what, where that would be, don't know. But like that's kind of my hypothesis at the current moment. Um, so yeah, it then I think Freena kind of doesn't want to reveal all that stuff. That's why she's kind of like childlike. It's because she doesn't want to seem weak as an Archon. Uh, but I do believe that she she might or maybe that she relies a lot on the gnosis but she gave the gnosis to uh nivellet again my hypothesis so maybe she just doesn't have a lot of power anymore and so that's why she's a bit embarrassed because i don't know i again i'm not really good at Genshin impact lore but didn't she win the height the, the archon war i like, wasn't the archon war fought between a bunch of people and didn't she come out as one of the victors same as like zongli we know Zhongli is extremely powerful. Is Fossilor also, you know, the same position of where she was super powerful? But then something, she got nerfed? I don't know. 
Anyway, those are kind of my thoughts. We've already spent 10 minutes doing nothing, so I need to start playing the quests. So let's talk to Siege Wind, but let's read this first. Return to the prison to learn more about everyone's situation. The prize has been averted. For now, you decide to return to Fort Murphy to see how everyone's doing. Yes, we need to talk to everybody. The House of Hearth people, Siege Wind, Worcestershire, Cloran. Who else? Not sure. Doing all right? Did either of you get hurt? Don't worry, we're both doing great. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? <laughs> you people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervalette know that he was needed here? Well, Monsieur Nervalette has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves produced. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish, so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. Your happy smiles are quite contagious, you know. They're so memorable, and I've missed them immensely while you were gone. Really? I'm surprised that the traveler can still smile happy because if you can find the time, please stay at the fortress for just a while longer. Yeah, I'm surprised that the traveler can still have a happy smile because think about it. Traveler is well a traveler. Uh, we used to travel between worlds with our brother or I guess our sibling if you if you play with the uh, the male traveler. And um Think about all the friends you make. Think about all the people you've seen die. Think about all the friends you have to leave behind. Think about all the stuff that happens. Like, the traveler has seen stuff. <laughs> the traveler has seen stuff that we can't even come close to imagining, you know? So, like, I'm always a bit uh, interested to see, like, what's going on there. Anyways, I want to go down here because I don't Yeah, there are people here. But I also want to see what's, um, wait, where's the gate? Oh, the gate. I don't know. I, I want this. I wanted to see the um, the seal that has been put. Uh huh. Anyways, let's see what these people have to say. Jurier, Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. Uh, that's no excuse for. Huh? What's you two? Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? We're fine, thanks. And you! Are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though. So don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh, yeah? Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? Not at all! Okay, strange. I mean, yeah, they'll definitely be useful in the... Or, not useful, but they'll definitely be more important in the future. Because I feel like... I mean, surely we're gonna see this. It's not going to be good when we see that, but we're definitely going to see that. Water levels are going to rise, and we have to use that as a freaking battleship. Like how we use Ning Guan's, um, you know, the, the, the palace in the sky. We have to use that as a weapon. We're definitely going to use that ship as a weapon to fight whatever we need to fight. Who knows? Uh, indeed. Let's check the entrance. I guess we have to talk to the bombshell bros. Is that what Siege Wing just called them? That you... You guys are back? Crystal, 
You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, something like that, yeah. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. I'm sure the welcome is and must have skyrocketed in quality recently. Ah, oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. Yeah, these seem like fun guys. Hey, why don't we have a meal with those two one of these days? You want to cook for them yourself? Why not? Good chance to show them what I can do. I totally forgot to talk with those two guys earlier. Again. Talk to them once, talk to them again, because usually they have some special text to talk if you talk to them a second time. Oopsies. Let's do that real quick because I don't want to miss it and then we'll teleport to the top floor because I think we need to teleport to the top floor to go to the infirmary. Hopefully uh, we can still talk to these guys, by the way, because they might have disappeared. Nope, they're still here. Sweet. Jerry, the rumors about us are literally everywhere now. Please do something about it. But it's not like I caused them by myself. All right, all right. I'll try to do something about it when I can find the time. So are they together? <laughs> I think they're together. Okay, uh, last quest. Let's go upstairs. I'll put upstairs. Mm -hmm. I think we have to talk with the House of Hearth kids, essentially, is what I'm going to call them. Where's Worcestershire and uh, Florence? Thought we'd talk to them. They seem pretty important. To they seem like pretty important people to talk to. But indeed. But yeah, I guess if Worcestershire... Going back on that whole topic I had earlier. If Worcestershire really did care about the prophecy, then definitely seeing an audience with... Farina. Not Farina. Uh, Alekina definitely makes sense. Because it seems like she also really is worried about what happens. And of course, Worcestershire would have some good information for her. But again, I don't know. What can... Realistically, what can Alekina do? You know? Like, I, I know that she cares, but like... What can she even do? <laughs> I don't know. Now guess, what suit will this next card be? Uh, a bare teeth cat? Well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon. Huh. Hello, everyone. Looks like you're recovering nicely from an A. Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clorand in person. Oh, how did she react? Uh... She told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the opera house and we met the knave. You met father? Did she say anything to you? She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. She might be lying and she didn't try to kill us, so I'll say that as a positive thing. Well, I guess has any of the... Mm, mm, no, we've had some decent interaction with Leslie Nora. She didn't try to kill us, but they just smack Venti. Um, the Tori? Did he try to kill us? Nah, he was stalking. He was a creeper. But, oh, Scaramouche did really try to kill us at one time. 
So I guess, you know, you know, the, the free, the, one out of four, one out of five, not bad, right? Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. You can believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable and also trustworthy. Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. Uh, got it. Huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Hey! Are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it, yeah! Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake! Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. All right, now we get to talk to us. Oh, we're sure. Let's see what well, they have to say. We should start preparing that tea party. Oh, that's a great idea. I'm all for it. I'll help you set it up. It's very interesting what he just said there. He, um, Lenny did say that I like you know cares about people that she considers close and will do stuff for them, and that may include us now. Uh, but. Didn't you she didn't, didn't didn't you see how you talked about child? <laughs> you like she doesn't give a crap about child, does she? Like at all. It seems like she doesn't really care about him, and that he just he's just she's just using his disappearance as like uh, a chance to get further into what she wants to do. So I think um, and it's interesting because I remember she saying that how she can she she will act as child's. Attorney if child's ever in trouble and vice versa. I don't know if that's true I don't know if she actually does care about child. It makes me wonder hmm if she doesn't really care about child Does she really care about us in the house of hearth kids? I mean who knows or maybe she just hates child, but like child seems to be a pretty decent guy and The child got his mission done in leeway child and Leslie Nora got their mission done in leeway So like child successful in doing what he needs to do. So he's kind of popping off and like Dino, on the other hand, not currently really popping off. So, I mean, put some respect on Chop. Put some respect on my boy. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I think it might be something interesting to think about. How she doesn't really care about Child. Maybe she doesn't care about any of the uh, Fatui Heartbringers. I don't know, who knows? <clears throat> I guess it does make sense if she only cares about really her mission to save Fontaine. And then if she gives back her Gnosis, then... All is good? I don't know. What's up, buddy? Oh, talk. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? We're fine, for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. I don't think that's gonna work. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Ujwin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. <laughs> uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervalette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? 
I'm guessing that means that we can farm uh, credit coupons because we do need to farm credit coupons if we want to unlock recipes. Oh, uh, Worsley. No, Worsley is literally him. Um, the guy who's the chef, he has some stuff for us to buy, like recipes that we can buy with credit coupons. So I'm guessing that's what that means. You may access the cafeteria for free. Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Return to the dormitories to rest. Your file can't be closed until we've completed your paperwork. So don't forget to come find me again when you're done serving your sentence. Wait, or am I wrong? Or is that something different? Why do we go return to the dormitories? Okay. Might be the chance where we get, because I've been wanting this. I've been wanting our dream with child. We don't know where child is. That's, that's the one big mystery right now. I mean, there's a few mysteries that we need to figure out, but I feel like th that's the same thing that I like Gino's trying to also figure out. So, like, we'll let her figure those out. One mystery that she doesn't seem to care about that I care about. Where the heck is child, man? We need that child dream. And also, what did uh, Worcestershire give us? I don't think he'd give us crap. Oh, look, it's some credit coupons. Uh huh. Yeah, he didn't freaking give us crap, guys. <laughs> he gave us crap. Also, Si Jui is cooking with those gifts. Food for men and beauty products for women. I mean, she's cooking. <laughs> she's cooking. We're back in our cell again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Uh, feels like we regained our freedom. Mm -hmm. Being free sure feels pretty special now. Fama, is there something you'd like to say? Huh? How did you know? Because you usually just immediately fall asleep. Hey, that's not true. All right. Okay, Paimon just wanted to say that we really are an amazing duo after all. It's like we've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. There are so many bad things in the world, and we're just two people, but we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Isn't that pretty cool? Just two people? Mate, I'm the traveler that has traveled beyond worlds to worlds. My power is uncomprehensible. Is that even a word? No one has even seen the fo No one has even seen... 10% of my, not even 10% of my power. Oh, this whole time I've just been using 5% of my power. Oh my gosh. I'm like freaking shaggy, the shaggy meme from Scooby-Doo. Once you guys see 100% of my power, yeah, you guys can't handle it. Also, just two people, Paimon, you're like literally a being of like God, who knows? You're like some kind of being, you're not human, 100%. You are something entirely different, which will all will be revealed to us, maybe. Uh, toward the end of our adventure, all right? So, like, just two people. Come on. We're the best adventurers ever. counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Being a guy counts, too. God, yeah, imagine being just a guy, huh? Then let's ask Catherine to give Paimon an adventurer handbook as well. Paimon will also be an adventurer from today forward. Ah, I just got thoughts making Paimon giddy. Oh, oh Paimon's gonna crash, so you sleep soon, too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside our cell. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. We should be safe now, right? We'll be fine, so don't worry. All right, then. Good night to you, Traveler. Good night to you, Paimon. All right, surely this is when we get our last childhood dream. We need to know what happens. Chapter 4 complete. Chapter 4, Act 4 complete. Interesting. Okay. That's what we've been waiting for. I think... Okay. 
child didn't mention child didn't mention that when he was fighting in the abyss or something he saw a whale once and uh yeah he saw the whale and then he like used it as inf inspiration for his fighting style so i don't know if that is something that he saw way before or if that's something he just saw interesting uh-huh well uh-huh well that's I mean, that's it. That's the end of the Archon quest. I only waited 20 minutes because I felt like the 10 of the first minutes of this video is just me messing around. But indeed, oh my gosh, there's so much to think about. There's so much to think about. And next, the next Archon quest, I mean, I feel like it's all... I, I, is it all going to end by the next one? That's what I'm wondering. Because, yeah, I don't know. I think the story should conclude. Like, the whole thing. But yeah, there's a lot to think about. Like, how are we going to deal with this situation? Is Farina actually going to be the one who handles the situation and deals with it? Uh, you know, um, is, is Alekino going to help us out? And then, uh, psych, I'm a bad guy. I run away with Gnosis. Hee <laughs> hee. I mean, surely she's going to take the Gnosis to steal it, right? Because every time, every time the Gnosis has been stolen, we have been unable to keep it from getting stolen anytime. Um... Venti didn't really get anything out of it. Y Yai bought our life with it, so that's good. Zongli was able to get something out of it. He signed a contract, so I'm guessing he got something out of it. What we, what he got, we don't know. What he got, we don't know. But he definitely got something out of it. And then, um, Nahida did get some information about Sky being fake. Uh, she hasn't revealed that information to us, but we're, we're hoping that that would be useful. Or I'm hoping that would be useful in the future. So yeah, hopefully if the Gnosis does get stolen, it will get stolen, let's be honest here guys. Hopefully we get something out of it. Our Freena gets something out of it. Because again, I'm still hoping, not hoping, but I'm still believing that she is, she is the Hydra Archon. But who knows, right? Who knows? Yeah, what else is there to speak about? Never let being dragon? Oh yeah. I think, I think I will try to, um, because I finished all the Archon Quest. I've caught up with the Archon Quest ahead of time, which is super good. I've never really, um, made this ahead of the Archon Quest. And so I definitely think that, um, you know, we can try to tackle some of the story quests. Because I don't often do the story quest on time. I only do the story quest when we have to. Essentially when there's a quest block behind it. Whether that be an event quest or an archon quest or something of that like. And so it would be good to do those. And I'll definitely do that. Uh, I, I didn't do Lenny's story quest. So it's going to be a little bit out of order. Because we just had that whole thing happen with Lenny. And so that Lenny story quest might be a little bit out of order. But our... Our... Um, What's it? Our, uh, our Nivellet Archon, our story cause will definitely be on time. Cause, yeah, we probably had to finish it in order to do it. And I think it's a good time to do it now that we finished the Archon quest and we figured out that, um, he is, uh, Dragon. Dragon Mang. Dragon Mang. I guess we can stick with this team. It doesn't matter at this point, right? I'm done with the story quest. Yeah, I don't know. Video is a bit short. Should have made the last video shorter and this video longer, but I mean that's just how it is. I guess we can unlock this together. I'm not sure where this leads. Oh, I think um this is like the floating water cubes. The floating water cubes. We unlock that area, and I think over here is a bunch of ruins. Unless over here is a bunch of ruins. I don't know. There's like a bunch of ruins and there's like a, a boss hidden somewhere. But yeah, we're supposed to go this way, I believe. Wait, no. Oh, this is the area that I just unlocked. There must be a lot underwater that I, I'm not seeing. This is the area that we haven't unlocked yet on our map, okay? I guess we can do that before we end off the video. Yeah, so now that we've got the Archon Quest out of the way, which is super good, we're all caught up. That's kind of my goal with this whole version 4. My goal for version 4 is definitely to be caught up with everything in order to, you know, do quests on time and early if possible, right? And so now that we've done all the Archon quests, I'm caught with the Archon quest. We can go ahead and uh, start working on the story quest, which is probably what I'm going to do next. And then after that, I really want to do exploration. Because again, guys, I literally haven't done like any exploration in Sumero. The only exploration I've done, I've mentioned this many times, are events that had to do with... Events that had to 
do um, that that were part of a uh, quest a limited time events I should say so that those are the only quests that I've done so it would be good to do a lot of world quests there are a bunch of world quests as you see there's like this world quests there's like this one there's this one there's probably one in Poisson, you know, there's probably one like over here. I know there's one over here. There's probably a few in the city. Actually, we can go ahead and check that after we're done with this. Um, I just want to unlock this waypoint first and there's a lot. I want to do, I don't know. The thing about doing world quests on camera is that it's a lot of content and there's a lot of uh, recording to do on camera. And, and there's a lot of reading too. Story quests are not voice acted, so I'll probably read it all for the sake of the video, and my throat will probably kill me after I finish uh, even just one or two story quests. My throat will start hurting. But I like doing them. I like doing them on camera, and some of them are really good, and I wish I had recorded them. For example, the island cleansing one in uh, Narukami Island. I wish I had recorded that one, because that one was really good. That one's really good. So... Indeed, we unlocked this. It seems like yeah, one part is a bunch of water and one part is like a lot of land. Oh, there's a lot of waypoints they unlock. Um, so that that's a lot to do. But yeah, let's check it out. We got, we got that. Oh, we should check our achievements. I like doing these on camera. We got Fremen recalls what happened to him. Uh, learn secrets of Fortress of Meripede. Learn Nivellus' true identity, and complete uh, Catalyst's. Quicken. And I think we already did this too. Unlock all the like the Ooh, that's a good one. The Worcestershire uh Fortress of Meripede. Indeed. So yeah, we can actually check the uh, world quest because every world quest gives um reputation points and every reputation point uh is listed at the uh this place. Mhm. Mm So let's see what we're working with here. I also haven't unlocked the. Uh, funny enough, I haven't even. I haven't even unlocked them. Um, what's it called? Bounties and requests. I need a little bit more exploration points. So yeah, we'll probably explore uh, a little bit, or do a few world quests. But yeah, we're exploration. Look at how much uh, questing we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Wait, I can just read up here. <laughs> I'm an idiot. We have 26 world quests to do, and some of them are multiple parts. Like, I'm looking at Caterpillar Story Prologue. Guessing that continues. Um, so, we have a lot to do. So, I don't know if I want to do that on camera. And the, the thing is, I also want to do exploration on camera like opening chest on camera doing puzzles on camera and that's even more recording and more like that's a lot that i want to do on camera so i don't know if i can do it like i'm basically basically what i'm trying to say is i want to 100 percent on camera that's <laughs> what i want to do um and yeah and then after we finish here we go to sumeru so i don't know Take when i do want to i would like to stream it but i don't know how to stream and honestly I, I like recording a little bit more than streaming. I like the idea of recording a bit more than streaming, but I know streaming would make me do, be more efficient. Um, but anyways, we haven't unlocked any daily commissions in Fontaine, so let's see if we can unlock it. This is uh, Catherine again. Must be one of the puppets too, perhaps. Uh, there shouldn't be any other another possibility. If there's something I can help with, I take on a commission or send one out. Just taking a look. I see. If you run into any guild related issues, you can come and ask me. I will provide the utmost service for you and answer all answerable questions. Then then we thank you for your contri contribution to the guild adventure. We wish you smooth travels. Uh huh. So after talking with her, um, I've unlocked that quest after the second um, act of chapter four. Now we can do Fontaine. Now we can do Fontaine. Um, I'm probably still gonna set to random because I always like setting it to random. But yeah, we can do Fontaine commissions now. That's good. Uh, but anyways, I think that's it. Again, my plan probably is to do some world quests. 
I don't know what this is. Uh, see, yeah, there's a lot of, I mean, these ones are all from, what's it called? Sumeru. Wow, there's actually a lot of Sumeru ones. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start tackling some Fontaine World Quest, but that's after we finish. I'm, I want to do these first. I want to do these first because we might need to do them to unlock event quests. So I'll work on those. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. You're beautiful the way you are, and I'll catch you in another Genshin Impact video.